Hi, it's time for Monday morning mail call. So today I just have one. This one came from Stacy in Pensacola, Florida. And let's see what uh, Stacy sent. Pretty good sized box, pretty heavy. Seems to be packaged well. We've got some styrofoam. Oh, and we've got this foam padding stuff. And right in the top, we've got a new tone, eight note, short tube bar chime. Let's see what kind of cover might come with it. Oh, cool. So this is really well packaged. I'm gonna cover it up so you can't see it. But she put styrofoam blocks around everything. And uh, you probably got a peek of it there, but um, we're gonna get this out. Put all that down there. Here's the cover. Let's take a look at it, what it looks like when it's all together. So what we have here is an LC38. It's an eight note short tube bar chime and it's got this it's a plastic cover and it's got this sort of spanishy look to it so we've got a darker sort of faux wood grain case and we've got this sort of uh, antiqued hammered strapping on here this is all plastic with this filigree insert and it's got this sort of orangey cloth woven cloth cover behind the grill and this is from the 70s i think on the uh, chime base here it looks like it's from 1976 oh and it's got it's got the satin chrome or satin nickel tubes instead of brass tubes and it was also available, surprisingly enough, I have one. It also was available with a light cover. And this is something that I already had here. And it's kind of similar. You have a light colored plastic case with the filigree insert. They're the same, although it's darker. This one is more like a charcoal and silver. And this one's more like a black with lighter accenting on it and then you've got a lighter woven cloth in the background and this is sort of a two-tone you've got sort of reds and lighter colors in it to lighten it up a little bit so th these are nice chimes and what you have here is hidden behind the three tone bars three tone bars you've got a pretty standard new tone clockwork mechanism base you've got the telecron motor assembly with the rotating armature that's behind the motor base and your screw connections here and then the red circuit board card that it all sits on and is what allows it to work and then buried down inside behind the tone bars you have the three solenoids that strike the bars these are the same type of solenoids that they use in the long tube chimes of the same era and then you've got your three tone bars so if we give them a quick ring there you go and i think these actually have notes stamped on them let me put my glasses on here this one says K on it, and the other ones this one on the back side says C, and this one says, hold it under the light. It looks like it says H. I don't know if H is a note or not. And the important part of this, one of the important parts of this type of chime design are the resonator tubes because if you take these away and you just have the tone bars it has sort of a dull thunking kind of sound it's the resonators with the slots that make that amplify the sounds of the tone bars and make you be able to hear it throughout the house uh, this also has the four and eight note switch here 
on the motor bass, so you can do the first four notes of a Westminster or the la or all eight notes of the Westminster. One of the things that someone pointed out to me a long time ago was that this is not actually a true Westminster chime. In fact, I don't think New Newtone ever called these particular chimes Westminster. Apparently, Westminster chimes are four individual notes that are repeated in different orders ascending there's an ascending order and a descending order on a Westminster eight note chime so this I don't think they call that these Westminster chimes they're just eight note chimes but these are some of the nicest chimes that Newton made short of a long tube chime they were popular because they took up less room that's our mail call video for today and that's it I hope you found this interesting uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below and see you on the next video. Oh, don't forget the thumbs up.